What's up, everyone? Today is Monday, March 30th at 7.57 a.m. Going to do a video watch this today. A um, couple things I want to talk about before we get started is, remember, today is Monday. Uh, people have been going crazy at home. <coughs> Everyone's losing their mind. So I'm sure everyone is over eager to be trading today. I'm sure everyone is kind of get triggers like ready to go, right? They're ready to attack. So my advice for you guys to always remember is that for me, Mondays are my worst performing days. So I consciously take it slower on Mondays, size down more. Uh, I try to control how over eager I get to trade. So I don't want to trade pre-market. I don't want to mess around. I just want to stay calm and stick to my process that's been rewarding me every single day, knock on wood. So. Uh, just keep that in mind. Um, remember, Mondays, everyone is ready to attack. So if you recognize that, or the sooner you recognize that, the more of an edge that you have, right? So let's kind of get started. So BKYI, uh, this stock just got absolutely destroyed. Uh, as soon as it broke this kind of 170-ish death line, right? 170-ish death line, it kind of just unwound, right? Um, so in the morning, uh, hopefully we get a morning pop uh, towards... Sec towards these levels and always I'm drawing out my lines so hopefully we get a morning pop towards these levels so that we could short it um, I will not chase weakness on this I would rather wait for this to kind of pop up first and then attack it MFA uh, this isn't a setup that I'm not too in love with um, let me actually pull up some information on it uh, this is an $840 million company, so it's a real company, so I do not want to use size if I'm trading it. But what I see is a very, very, very simple $2 line. So if it goes to $2, I'll look to short it with a plan to add in the kind of 220s area with a stop kind of above 230. Again, this is going to be a small size stop, uh, trade because the company is a real company, right? We only want to size into scams and bullshit companies that we have a big edge in. LITB, another death line setup. Uh, this fucking shit is gold almost, but broke the death line and went straight down. So in the morning, what I'm looking for is a pop towards this $1-ish level, which kind of coincides with VWAP. I really won't chase it down. This, this weakness, I'd rather wait for it to pop. PSTV, <coughs> excuse me, is the new stock of the day. It's extremely, extremely beaten down. So it is a former runner. It likes to push on volume. Notice every time it pushes on volume, it kind of pulls back. So, I mean, this one's going to be interesting for me. I want to see this kind of test this 270 to 3 level, right? I want to see how it tests around that level and wait for it to push, wait for it to tank, and then shorting the bounce after it tanks. That's kind of going to be my main watch on something like this. I'll have more commentary at the open. Um, we're just kind of waiting for the price action to develop first. SPCB, um, this is kind of already downtrending, so... Looking for a pop towards uh, 105, which is right here. So looking for a pop towards these levels in the morning. Notice I'm just drawing my lines, keeping it very, very simple. So if it pops to each of my levels, I will attack. Uh, last things are I put some of the recent videos on the week in the bottom of the watch list. So if you haven't seen any of these recent videos, please check it out. And let me check tilt rate. So the thing with tilt rate is it's an extremely, extremely beaten down stock. It went from 300 to like almost three bucks, right? So for me, because this is so beaten up, I'm not even touching it, even though it's a first red day, because there's going to be so many buyers buying because it's on sale, right? So technically, yes, it is a first red day, but this is a setup that I don't think extended hard enough to be considered a red day. Sure, two to nine is... Not really that bad, but remember, it came from 300. So I'm just going to kind of hold off on this one. Marijuana stocks are kind of in the news. Uh, people are still going, getting high and going to the dispensary. So I really just don't want to touch it because I think there's going to be a lot of news-driven stuff behind it. So I'm going to kind of avoid that. But <coughs> if you guys have any questions, be sure to message me. Again, today's watch list is free. Every Monday, I make it free for YouTube. And then every day or every other day, I post it for MIC members. At the end of these videos, I like to do a secret word to make sure that you guys are watching till the end. So today's secret word is going to be haircut because you better believe that I need one. So good luck, guys. I'm going to take it slow today, and I will see you for a YouTube recap at 11. Thanks.